Hey guys, Happy New Year. It is January 1st, 2024, and we're about to do it big style here on the Sushi Traveler, because we're here at Musin Sushi in Westlake, California, doing it big on New Year's Day for y'all. All right, guys, stay tuned because we're about to go all out. So we finally made it, you guys, 2024, January 1st. Can't believe it. We're off to a good start in the new year with this impeccable spread. As you guys see here, we have some beautiful salmon carpaccio, but not just regular salmon, it's king salmon. And then we have beautiful wagyu with black cod on the top, and then some beautiful, beautiful tartare with caviar. So right now, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and dive right in because I don't want anything to get cold, but I just wanna thank you for an incredible year that we had in 2023. And we're about to set it off in 2024 on January 1st. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to the King Salmon first, you guys, because this looks absolutely amazing. Oh yeah. I haven't had King Salmon in quite some time. So this is a delight because this is a, a mukbang for premium, premium stuff. Oh, butter, just like butter. Wow, that King Salmon is fantastic. Oh yeah, and everything we've ordered today is off of their specialty menu for today, what's in season right now, and then also some other additional things that is listed in the menu as well. But they also do serve an omakase, so if you guys just want to have it, leave it up to the chef, you guys are more than welcome to. Hmm. That's salmon, you guys. King salmon. Slightly torched, very, very slightly. A little bit of yuzu kosho, and a little bit of arugula, little greens, and uh, some black pepper. Hmm. And you can tell the uh, the fattiness as well too. How do I get a spider web on me? <laughs> oh yeah, magic, right? Mm. Fantastic, you guys. I'm not using any soy sauce whatsoever on this. Hmm. I had to go big with the first video of the year, you guys. Oh yeah, that's magic. Now the cool part about this is I have a sake flight because this sake flight is tremendous. And I mean, we're gonna try it, right? So this is the first one right here. I don't know what they're named, but it's okay. That one is a little stronger than what I'm used to, but the flavor is there, it's very crisp. Let's try the second one. I'm by you guys. That one is a little bit smoother, actually very smooth. <clears throat> Let's try the uh, third one. They all look like they're <laughs> the same color. <laughs> Ooh, <clears throat> wow, they're all very strong, <clears throat> but they actually get smoother. So it's per like, like certain types of fish, but I'm going all out, it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, you guys, so let's go ahead and go to this next thing. This is Wagyu with black cod, and they're in these little tiny spoons. They look absolutely amazing. So here's a close up of what they look like. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And it's just a one biter, you guys. Oh yeah. A5 Wagyu, torch to perfection, black cod, torch to perfection. And if you wanna see additional photos, you guys, go ahead and click right there, Sushi Traveler. You'll be able to see all the photos in the new year. Hmm. very fatty, but then that black cod really captures the flavor 
Oh, yeah. Mm. That's really, really good. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next thing right now. This is really cool. This is one of their appetizers, you guys. Check this out. These are little baby octopus. Look at that. <laughs> look how awesome these look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A little close-up, little baby octopi. Oh, yeah. That is an incredible appetizer. Wow. I would definitely order this again for sure. Mm. That's so good. I mean, look at the size though. They're pretty big. There's a little bit of lemon slices on the bottom. So the octopi really soak it up, which is actually pretty cool. Mm. Oh yeah, these are good. Very tender. Cooked perfectly. A little slippery, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Remember, you guys, we're here at Musin Sushi in Westlake, California. Mm. All right, guys, now this next one is baked mussels. You know it's one of my favorite things to do. I love me some baked mussels. Hope you guys are enjoying this mukbang here on January 1st, first day of 2024. Ooh, I'm excited. Mm. I did not want these to get cold. Oh, yeah. Everywhere I go, I try to get mussels. I don't know what it is about them. They're just really good. Oh, yeah. Now... What type of resolutions are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna keep eating sushi. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, you guys, what is your New Year's resolution for 2024? Mm. These are so good. Mm. These are magic. And the sauce is really a, like the star. Don't forget to like the video, guys. Hey, also, subscribe. Come on. You guys are here already. You might as well subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And turn on that notification bell. Got to get those notifications when I upload these awesome yummy sushi videos. All right. Those are done. This mukbang is going delightful. Now, you guys, check this out. Toro Tartar. Caviar and Gold Flake. Come on, I gotta go bougie, right? It's New Year's. Look at that. Oh yeah. Toro tartar. Get some uh, kizami wasabi in there. Hmm. So good. Mm. Now, don't try this next thing at home. It's gone. <laughs> Very fatty. Definitely use some wasabi. The wasabi will cut through with the fat, but then you have the uh, little nuttiness of the caviar. Gold flake doesn't really taste like anything, but <clears throat> all right. Now let's go ahead and go into the nigiri. 
Now, just look at this beautiful nigiri set, you guys. All right. So we're gonna start off with the sayori, which is needlefish. This is uh, one of my favorite things to eat. Mm. <clears throat> now each day or each week, I believe, they change their um, today specials. I mean, they're called today specials, so <laughs> so I'm assuming every day, and <clears throat> they'll have different things. So on today's menu. Here's a list of all today's specials. Now we're going to jump into the scallop. Mm. Now this is a new one. This is actually really cool. This is herring roe. So herring eggs. Let's go a little bit of a soy. I actually had that when I was in San Francisco. I don't know if you guys remember that mukbang that I did in the hotel room. That was actually part of it. <laughs> so, I'm not too sure what this is, but it's on the paper. <laughs> Now, this is pretty much like I'm doing an omakase, just everything at once. And you guys remember, they do have an omakase, so I think it's 14 pieces for $90. And uh, yeah, definitely check it out if you guys want the ultimate experience. Yama. Looks like some premium yellowtail. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go into some more premium stuff. And we have this beautiful salmon egg, uni from Santa Barbara, otoro, chutoro, and akami. All parts of the bluefin tuna. This looks impeccable, you guys. So <laughs> I'm gonna start from left to right. And they make their Salmon egg in-house, like they marinate it and everything. Like that. Beautiful. Mm. That's fire. Look at the size of this uni, you guys. Look at that. Mm. Santa Barbara uni. Gotta love it. All right, some chutoro, or some otoro, which is the fattiest part of the actual tuna. There we go. And when I say fattiest, it's the fattiest part. Mmm. That fat still stays on your tongue a little bit. And we have chutoro, which is one of my favorites. Chutoro is like half of the fattiness, half of the leanness. All in one, all the goodness. Oh yeah. Look at the redness of this Akami. Just beautiful. Oh, that's magic. Now this next one is part of their um, uh, snapper family. So there's red snapper, black snapper, golden eye snapper, and uh, there's one other one. I don't know what it is, but I'll try it. Mm. 
There's actually wasabi underneath. I didn't realize it. <laughs> I mean, come on, when you're doing omakase, right? I like they offer. The chef is already going to put the wasabi underneath it. So good. Now to be even more bougie, you guys, they offer a king crab roll, okay? King crab roll. Absolutely amazing. I mean, real chunks of king crab. Mm. Happy New Year to me. Oh, that's so good. Beautiful king crab. Mm. Oh. One thing I want to try, you guys, that they brought out. Well, they brought it out on the side, so. I do not want it to get cold. They offer this beautiful udon. Now there's a, a lot of seaweed in here, kombu, udon, I believe chicken also, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, this is a really good way to kind of close out, really. Uh, you know, when you're having a meal like this, you definitely want to close it out with some good soup. Let's go ahead and try this udon. Japanese udon. Oh, that hits the spot, you guys. Wow, that is amazing. Let's go ahead and try this uh, chicken. Mm. But look at that udon, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's so good. All right, guys, but it comes to the end. Happy New Year, January 1st, 2024. I hope you guys have a tremendous year, and I want to thank you all for joining me on this incredible adventure here on the Sushi Traveler. Remember, you got to check out Sushi Traveler on Instagram, and you guys will love all the photos. Check out some other videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your boy is out. Let's start off the new year on a roll. <laughs> See what I did there? I love you guys. Peace out.